Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the mysteries of the cosmos. Prepare to be amazed as we examine an extraordinary topic. How can the universe be 13.7 billion years old? Although the observable universe spans 94 billion light years, after the Big Bang, light started to travel. But if the universe is 13.7 billion years old, shouldn't the farthest thing we can see be 13.7 billion light years away? Well, that's where things get interesting. If you've ever wondered how that's possible, stick around, because we're about to embark on a journey through space and time. Let's start with the basics. Big Bang wasn't just an explosion in space. It was an explosion of space itself, creating everything we know today. Galaxies, stars, planets, and even time. But if the universe is 13.7 billion years old, shouldn't the farthest thing we can see be 13.7 billion light years away? To better understand this concept, imagine a balloon with small dots drawn on its surface. These dots represent galaxies. As you blow air into the balloon, it expands, and the dots move farther apart from each other. However, you're not moving the dots themselves. You're expanding the space, the balloon's surface, between them. This is similar to how our universe expands. The space between galaxies is growing, causing them to move farther apart. To understand this paradox, we first need to understand light years. A light year is the distance that light travels in one year. Light moves incredibly fast, about 300,000 kilometers per second, or roughly 186,000 miles per second. Over a year, this adds up to about 9.46 trillion kilometers, or nearly 6 trillion miles. So, when we say something is 13.7 billion light years away, we're saying the light from that object has traveled for 13.7 billion years to reach us. However, the universe isn't static. It's expanding. The concept of an expanding universe was first proposed by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s. He observed that distant galaxies are moving away from us, and the farther they are, the faster they seem to be receding. This led to the understanding that the universe is expanding uniformly. Now, let's talk about the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. The CMB is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a faint cosmic radiation that fills the universe. By studying the CMB, scientists can learn about the early universe and its expansion. The CMB gives us a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old. At that time, the universe was much smaller, but since then, it has expanded enormously. So, if the universe started 13.7 billion years ago, how did it grow to be 94 billion light years across? The key lies in the rate of expansion. After the Big Bang, the universe underwent a period of rapid inflation, expanding faster than the speed of light. This doesn't violate the laws of physics because it's space itself that's expanding. As a result, the distances between objects in the universe have grown significantly. The light we see from distant galaxies started its journey billions of years ago, but in that time, those galaxies have moved even farther away due to the expansion of space. It's important to distinguish between the observable universe and the entire universe. The observable universe is the region of space from which light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. This forms a sphere with a radius of about 46.5 billion light years, giving us a diameter of 93 billion light years. But the entire universe could be much larger, possibly infinite. We can only observe a portion of it, limited by the age of the universe and the speed of light. Another critical concept is redshift. As the universe expands, the light from distant galaxies gets stretched, shifting towards the red end of the spectrum. Something similar happens to sound waves when a source of sound moves relative to an observer. This effect is called the Doppler effect, after Christian Andreas Doppler, an Austrian mathematician who discovered that the frequency of sound waves changes if the source of sound and the observer are moving relative to each other. Everyone has heard the increased pitch of an approaching police siren and the sharp decrease in pitch as the siren passes by and recedes. The effect arises because the sound waves arrive at the listener's ear closer together as the source approaches, and further apart as it recedes. By measuring this redshift, astronomers can determine how fast an object is receding and thus estimate its distance. The higher the redshift, the farther away the object is. This method has helped us map the universe and understand its vast scale. There's another factor at play here, dark energy. 
This mysterious force is driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Discovered in the late 1990s, dark energy makes up about 68% of the universe and is causing galaxies to move away from each other at an increasing rate. Dark energy's influence means the universe's expansion isn't slowing down. It's speeding up, pushing the boundaries of the observable universe even farther. Cosmic inflation theory, proposed by physicist Alan Goose in 1980, suggests that the very early universe underwent a period of exponential expansion. This inflationary period lasted for just a fraction of a second, but had profound consequences for the structure and evolution of the universe. One of the key pieces of evidence for cosmic inflation comes from the cosmic microwave background called CMB itself. The CMB is remarkably uniform in all directions, with only tiny fluctuations in temperature. Inflation solves this horizon problem by proposing that all regions of the observable universe were once in close contact before being rapidly stretched apart. However, there's a limit to how much we'll ever be able to see. Due to the accelerating expansion caused by dark energy, there are regions of space that we will never be able to observe, no matter how long we wait. The light from these regions will never reach us because the space between us is expanding faster than the speed of light. This concept leads us to the idea of the cosmic event horizon. Similar to the event horizon of a black hole, the cosmic event horizon represents the boundary beyond which events cannot affect an observer. To wrap up, the universe's age and size are deeply intertwined with its dynamic nature. The observable universe spans 94 billion light years, not because of a contradiction, but due to the ongoing expansion of space over 13.7 billion years. It's a testament to the incredible journey of the cosmos, from the tiny, hot, dense state of the Big Bang to the vast, awe-inspiring expanse we observe today. As we continue to explore and understand our universe, we're constantly reminded of its complexity, its beauty, and the endless mysteries it holds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.